In this lesson, we're going to look at you know, how to solve recurrences that come up often in divide and conquer algorithms. So here's an example of one. Um, if n is greater than 1, then t of n is equal to 2 times t of n over 2 plus c. And when n is equal to 1, t of 1 is equal to d. Now, we'll often make a simplifying assumption, uh, which is that you know, n is an appropriate power, in this case a power of 2, so that n over 2 will always be an integer. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a tree, and the values in the tree are going to sum up to t of n. So let's start off with a uh, degenerate tree, which contains only the value t of n. So certainly the sum of the values in that tree is t of n. But we can take a look at the recurrence equation that says that t of n is actually 2 times t of n over 2 plus c. So we can replace t of n with two copies of t of n over 2, but also we need to replace this with c. So now what we've got is 2 t of n over 2 plus c. Well, the recurrence applies also to t of n over 2. And so if we plug in t of n over 2, or plug in n over 2 for n in the equation, we see that, see that t of n over 2 is actually 2 times t of n over 4 plus the constant c, and that happens in both places where we see t of n over 2. Okay. Well, I'll bet you can't guess what's going to happen next. Exactly. So we're going to replace t of n over 4 with t of n over 8 plus, well, two copies of t of n over 8 plus c, wherever we see n of t of n over 4. Okay. You know, there's no sense in expanding this further, but we can imagine what's going to happen as we build this tree. What eventually will occur is we're going to get down to t of 1 which we know is just d. So in order to figure out the values, the sum of the values in the tree, we need to figure out you know, how many levels there are and what the value at each level is. So we can do a little bit of bookkeeping by writing down the number of the level, what we're representing at that level, and the sum of the values at that level. So at level 0, we're representing t of n, and there's a total of c at that level. At level 1, we're representing t of n over 2, and there are two c's at that level. At level 2, well, we're representing t of n over 4, but I'm going to write that as t of n over 2 squared. And there's 2 squared c's. At level 3, oops, level 3, we're representing 2 over n cubed. I'm sorry, n over 2 cubed. And there are two cubed nodes, each with value c. In general, at level k, we're representing t of n over 2 to the k. And there are 2 to the k nodes, each with value c. And the question is, 
what's the bottom level? What is the value? What is the index of the bottom level? In other words, when we're at t of 1, what is the value of k? And we can figure this out just by setting n over 2 to the k equal to 1, which means the 2 to the k is equal to n, or k is equal to log of n. So, let me make a little bit of room here. When k is log of n, where we we're representing t of 1, and there are 2 to the log of n nodes, each with value d. Perfect. Now we know everything about this tree. Now let's sum up. We've got this big tree here. There's a whole mess of C's in it. The leaves are D's. The first level is level zero. The next to last level is level log of n minus one. The value across a level, level k, has 2 to the k c's in it. And there are 2 to the log n d's, which is just equal to n times d. So the sum of all the values in the tree is equal to the value at the leaves plus the value at the non-leaves. We already know the value of the leaves is n times d. What is the value of the non-leaves? Well, we simply sum over all levels k the value at level k. So our sum goes from level k equals 0 to log of n minus 1, 2 to the k times c. Well, this is easy. <clears throat> we can rewrite that by factoring the c out. And now you should recognize a geometric series with uh, ratio 2. And this is, yes, you could apply a formula, or you could simply know uh, this special formula, which says the sum of successive powers of 2 is just the next power of 2 minus 1. So this turns into c times 2 to the next power of 2 minus 1. And that, in turn, is c times n minus 1. And finishing up, we find that t of n is equal to n times c plus d minus c. And that's it.